my dear students today i'm going to show you how to solve cantilever beam with point load problem in ansys software the problem description is as follows draw shear force and bending moment diagram for the beam shown cantilever beam is shown in the figure with 5000 mm span length and 10 into 10 raised to 3 newton point load is applied at the end so to solve the problem we in nc software we need some other details such as assume rectangular cross section of 200 into 300 mm that is the cross section of the beam and young's modulus value is 210 into 10 raised to 3 newton per millimeter square and poisson's ratio is 0.27 so when we look at the analytical solution so we will get the force at a that is nothing but applied load 10 into 10 raised to 3 10000 newton and force at b is also same 10000 newton and bending moment at a is 0 newton per millimeter and moment at b is load into distance 50 into 10 raised to 6 newton millimeter don't confuse with the units because at the end in ansi software we may get the unit in kilo newton and this should be the diagram the sft will appears like this and bending moment diagram will appear like this let's solve using mc software so you go to, to preferences first preferences select structural click ok then preprocessor element type add edit delete add the element so always look at the menu like this when you add the element element should display here so you add the element in add you select beam option beam then here two node 188 you select click on ok so here type 1 and beam 188 appear close this menu then coming to material properties in that one material model select structural linear elastic isotropic so based on the given problem enter young's modulus value here in the given problem young's modulus is 210 and poisson's ratio is 0 0.27 enter the values here 210 10 power to enter 10 power you have to enter e exponential value e3 that means 10 power 3 and poisson's ratio value is 0 0.27 enter click ok close this menu then coming to sections here you have to select beam in beam you select common section as for the given problem enter the breadth value is 200 and height value is 300 so it is given in the problem i will show you 200 into 300 then click ok so after that you have come to the modeling option in modeling so you have to select create you have to create key points key points in key points after key points you select in active cs see select here key point number one since the beam is fixed here starting point there is no distance you have to enter zero here okay so number one you erase it and enter zero click apply once then change the key point number two and enter the total distance of the beam distance is that means length is 5000 mm length is 5000 then click on ok on screen the number one and two will appear after that one you go to lines straight line you draw the line that means select point number one and point number two line will come click ok after that one you go to meshing option meshing in that one mesh sorry select size controls in that one manual size you go to global in that one again size here we are dividing the beam into number of parts it's a basic method in fem solution so take 10 in element edge length and number of divisions you make it 
100 to get a smooth curve click ok so then you have to come for the meshing option select mesh then select lines so click the line you can see you can clearly see the the line is divided into number of parts so then click on ok so meshing is completed so <coughs> then you enter loads here go for loads in that load you select define load then apply then select structural in that one displacement then on key point select first point here select apply so as per the given problem the first point is fixed here so all dof that means all degrees of freedoms are arrested click ok small two triangles will appear that will ensure you that node is fixed then at point two there is a force you select click on force then on key point select the second key point click on apply see here when you observe the given diagram the load is applied in y axis that means y direction and load is acting downwards that's why you select negative here so fy and load is 10 into 10 power 3 so in negative enter minus 10 e3 minus indicates load is acting in downward direction 10 e means exponential 10 into 10 power 3 click ok a red line or red arrow will indicate you the load is acting in downward direction then coming to the solutions in solution you select solve then current ls begin solution of current load step click ok you have to get the dialog box indicating solution is done so almost problem is solved now close this one close this menu as well now you have to display sfd and bmd on screen with the result values for that you have to select general post processing in that one you have to define the table go to element table define table see a combination of smic values we have to take so for that one when you select define table you have to try to add the table add in this one select by sequence number smisc first combination is smisc you enter 3 click ok see you have to get the item or combination 3 here if, it, if you are not getting clearly observe the screen there is one warning message the requested database is not available no need to worry close this one for time being close this also in command prompt this in this box you enter set comma l a s t last when you get the error then click enter key again define the table add select same option as by sequence number smi sc selected here you enter 3 click on apply see now the values are coming here so it is 3 then again select by sequence number smi sc here enter 6 then apply again select by sequence number smi sc you enter number 16 then apply last value by sequence number sms smisc you enter 19 then click on ok see the combination of 6 and 19 is used to get shear force diagram and 3 and 16 is used to get bending moment diagram close this one so now the last step you go to plot results in that one you select contour plot line element result as i told at node i you have to select smis 6 and at node j you have to select smis 19 click ok on screen you will get shear force diagram as we have solved the shear force diagram 
provided by the ANSYS software is matching our analytical solution. Even we have got a rectangular shape indicating 10,000 Newton load. Here also load is 10,000. You neglect the symbol. It is indicating negative because of opposite sign. Again, go to line element table. To get bending moment diagram, you select the combination of SMI S3 and SMI S16. Click on OK. So this one will show you bending moment diagram. As I told, this is matching with our analytical answer also. Indicating value 15 to 10 raised to 6 Newton millimeter. Here you are getting 50,000 kilo Newton meter. No need to worry. The value is same. And negative sign indicates hogging bending moment is going to take place. So this will show you the result. If you need more clear animation, you can go to plot control, animate, animate the deformed result. Here DOF, click OK. So the line diagram will show you how the bar will bend due to the application of load. If you decrease this one, it is going to bend the load in a little bit speed manner. Then if you want to check its 3D option, you can just close this one. Go to plot control style in that one size and shape. Display of element, you turn it on, click OK. So you can go to isometric view so that the isometric image of the bar will appear on screen. If you scroll it, it will just size will increase. Again, you can just animate this one deformed result. Click OK. So it will show how the bar will bend with colorful rendering. Thanks for watching.